What's up guys, so with iOS 10 just released, how does it stack up on older devices like the iPhone 5s? So in this video, we'll review all the new features and improvements iOS 10 has to offer. So let's quickly do a boot test iPhone 5s takes roughly 28 seconds to boot up on iOS 10. You can see that the lock screen now has a bit bolder text. So if you swipe in from the right, you get into the camera. And if you swipe in from the left, you get into the section that holds up your widgets. Now the last thing with the lock screen is that there is no slide to unlock. Instead you have to press the home button to unlock it. Messages has received a huge update in iOS 10. It has transformed from an easy app which sends text messages or iMessages to a full-fledged and fully featured messaging app. It has a new bubble animation and if you hold the send button, you can choose from slam, loud, gentle and invisible ink and this hides the message until you wipe in the message bubble. There are also full screen effects that take over the app. Digital touch from the Apple Watch has also been added. So you can now draw, tap, send hearts and lips. Lastly there are stickers and man the list goes on and on for the messages app. Now after ages Siri finally supports third party apps. And now she has her own dedicated panel. Previously it was all hidden up deep inside the settings. The music app itself has been completely overhauled. The music interface features kind of bolder text and bigger buttons and new additions to Apple Music. The Maps app has changed quite a bit as far as look and feel goes. Now Maps also has integration with third party apps. With iOS 10 you can also see where your car is parked right from the app itself. The Photos app gets new features as well, such as memories which allows you to create montages and there are also search enhancements. You can even edit raw photos just like you edit them on your computer on iOS 10. The News app has a new icon and also a redesigned interface. System animations are now faster, so you don't get that split second delay while opening apps. This makes the user experience feel a lot snappier than iOS 9. And also folders look different on iOS 10. Now finally with iOS 10 you can now disable stock apps. When you remove a stock app and you want it back, no need to worry you can always go into the app store and re-enable it. If you are running Mac OS Sierra on your Mac, you'll now have access to your desktop and documents which are on your Mac via iCloud Drive. In the Notes app, there's a new button in the upper right corner. This allows you to add people and collaborate notes with them. Now if you have an Apple Watch, you are gonna love the new updates to the Watch app. You can even go in and build your own watch face on the phone itself. No need to do it on a tiny little screen on the watch. You can even browse the watch gallery which allows you to see different watch faces and customize them even further. Now with iOS 10, Control Center has got a big new redesign. You can see that there's a new splash of colors on the toggles. The button placement is a bit better, but this is not all. If you swipe over, you can see that there's a new page which is fully dedicated to music. Swipe left for widgets on the home screen. Yes, they are no longer only in the notification center, but also on a separate page as well. You can also add new widgets if you click on the edit button. There are some new ones in there, so exciting stuff if you are a fan of widgets. Notification center also has a complete new redesign. If you swipe over on the left, you get full access to your widgets. Let's say you are in an app and you want to quickly see what's the weather like or call someone. Just pull down the notification center and swipe left. As simple as that. 
you can also perform spotlight search from the notification center itself. With iOS 10, you get enhanced interactive notifications. So it's not just a quick reply on the messages for instance, but a complete view of your messages app. This is so much better than previously when you had to actually go into the app for a conversation. The clock app has got a bit more love in iOS 10. Yes, now it has a dark theme, which kinda makes sense as you look at the clock app mostly at the night times. You even get a new stopwatch face on the stopwatch. But the biggest feature in iOS 10's new clock app is bedtime, which can actually integrate with health app to give you sleep statistics. With iOS 10, there's even a new dedicated home app which lets you control your compatible home appliances. Of course, you can set up your rooms, your different accessories and you can even use your Apple TV for automation. Even the health app has gone through a complete new redesign. You can now share your activity data from your workouts with your friends too. As far as Safari's performance goes, the web page load times and scrolling is fairly acceptable. The camera app opening speed is also quite quick. As far as CPU benchmarks go, Geekbench 3 on iPhone 5S running iOS 10 gave a score of 1399 on the single core side and 2498 on the multi core side. High graphical games like CSR Racing 2 run smoothly without any major frame drops. App opening speeds are even faster in some cases than on iOS 9.3.5. As far as overall speed and performance goes, iOS 10 runs quite good on iPhone 5S. With an addition of so many new features, the battery life is not that bad as well. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Let us know how do you feel about iOS 10 in the comments below. And if you are new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing. Even check out our Instagram and Twitter, we are like super active over there. Thanks so much guys, see you next time.